All right, guys, welcome back. Let's talk about some podcast updates now. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We get on the grind and improve your mind. So in this video, we want to just give you guys some updates on our All Gains podcast, which we've not done a good episode in a, in a while from the date of this video being released. And that's because, you know, we've been working on things, getting a new studio together, and we've been trying to get everything sorted out, with the equipment, and what we're going to do in the plan and the background for the studio which we are in right now, but it is not complete yet, which it will be very soon. And after it's going to be ready, then we're going to get the podcast set up, which should be, depending on when this video releases, it should be like a week or two after this video is released, we'll have our first podcast back. It's been a while. I know you guys, some of you guys out there have been like, Where are we? When we first started this YouTube channel, we never expected to exactly become a podcast sort of channel. It's just gonna, it's gonna be like a segment on our channel, but we didn't know we were gonna be doing it, but we found to like it and enjoy it and like the process of it and understanding different people's perspectives and why we do it in the, in the beginning and like to have different friends on and talk about some, some real stuff, which we need to get this information. We need to be talking about these kind of subjects to you guys, the general audience, dealing with like nutrition and dating and, and mindset and growth and health and all these things that are very important to the human physique and to the mentality of you guys. So we try to delivered the best performance possible you know in the past we've had great podcasts we've had podcasts with kk reaper but you know like it, it's a great time until you get home and then you're looking at yourself and you're like i don't even know who i am anymore yeah like i i, I had that feeling there, there were days that to, especially towards the end i actually had a i had a mental breakdown we did a podcast with damian rucci great poet uh, it's huh. one of the best stories i ever heard he goes he says like so i was driving over on one of them country roads them long winding roads and i seen one of them hillbilly boys with overalls, and he was like, looked like he was drowning in the river, so my man hops out of the car, and he's like, hey, mister, are you all right? And this dude's like, drowning a spider monkey, okay, swear to Christ, spider monkey in this river, so my friend Mark's like, hey, I'll give you $40 for that fucking spider monkey, why are you trying to drown it, you know? So he's telling me, like, he showed me pictures of him and his spider monkey, he's got a, <laughs> he's got a spider monkey, and he's like, we was the best of friends, we was smoking, we was drinking, yeah. you know, and then this, you know, things change because you can't give alcohol and marijuana to a fucking monkey. So this monkey started beating my man's ass, right? Started smacking his ass around the fucking rooms. <laughs> he's like, monkeys are fucking strong. So he's like, I took that motherfucker and I threw him in the back of my Jeep and I drove back up that country road to that old feller's house. And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I knocked on his door and I got fucking my $40 back. I go, well, what happened to the spider monkey? He goes, he drowned it. Oh, we've had great intellectual conversations with our good friend Joe. But sometimes you will stumble, you will fall, and that will be part of the nature of who you are. Because that, that's development. You know, you see it in movies and you love seeing it on, on TV shows and why not. Uh, for example, Avatar, Suko. A lot of people love Suko, the story. You know, oh, really? He goes through a lot of falls, right? A lot. But that, that's his nature and how he learns. You know, he was never the one that was always like... The, the perfect one. Yeah, he he was always had to he struggle. Was, he was never Zula. He, and he, he became was, being the uh, uh, fire lord. He became the fire lord, yeah. The, the king. You know he what stood I mean? up to his father, too. Like, he, right. like, he's gone through so much. And and his redemption arc was, like, such a such a pleasing and such a powerful part mm -hmm. of the story of Avatar. Because he's, yeah. cause he went through so much as a kid and, you know, trying to find himself to be, you know, thinking that whatever his father says was going to be what his destiny was but it really but it really isn't and i love uncle iroh for the, the whole speech that he no, gave him uh, right for you know finding his own destiny and and being you know being himself and finding that and actually accomplishing the things that he wanted to do and and, yep. and following you know his his own purpose following, right. finding his own purpose and following through which gave him to be the avatar like uh the not the avatar but the, the uh <laughs> The, well, the Avatar's best friend, but all, right. and also the uh, fire, the fire lord. We also interviewed uh, dating coaches, like playing with fire. I don't think one is better than the other. I think they're different. I don't think cold approach will ever die, though. I think there will always be girls who appreciate when a guy can go up and talk to them in real life. Yeah, because whenever I approach a girl, they're just like, they're just like so caught off guard because it's like it's never happened to them. So they get like they get like the shock factor in the beginning, and then you know. Yeah, because like especially especially uh, around here, like no one, and especially during now, like, during the COVID times, like going to cold approach someone during COVID is like 
it's like a make or break type of type of deal, especially if depending upon the person. Like if you're going up to a to a to a woman and you're just like, hey, how are you? And she can either be like, yo, you step back, step back, or or they actually might, you know, because we I I feel like I've seen I've actually seen that happen. Uh, that's actually happened to me at my job. Like someone actually went and tried cold approaching a woman in my in my store, and she literally told him to step back. And and pretty much just shut him down completely. He didn't even he didn't even speak yet. He he just walked up, didn't even say a word, and she literally just put up her hand. She's like, "You need to step back. This is you know six feet, whatever." And he just Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. We've also done the creator of MSU, the guy who runs the Instagram account that allows college students to post their confessions. They spent like three years partying, chasing like women and like fun instead of like chasing their life, and they end up like their senior year like about to graduate and not knowing what they want to do with themselves. Because they just spent all this time not focused on it. Yeah, and the, and they're like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars in debt. debt and, yeah, and then just like, well, I can't get a good job <laughs> for the rest of my life, all because I wanted to chase women. Yeah, you guys would do that just for the sole purpose of getting some sex. So they just go to yeah. this college, and then you know, it this does happen. And I know people who've done this personally, and they waste a bunch of money. They go into debt, and they can't pay it off, and you ask them at the end, was it worth it? And they just shake their head. No. no, and then you know you got guys who are not even getting laid anyway. So they, what's the point? You know, spending all that money. You need. That's why I say you need to make sure you know what you want to do before you enter into these colleges. You need to have a goal in place. Like if you go to a community college, okay, you want to stretch it up some different classes. But if you're going to a four year college, it's oh, it's probably best to have some kind of plan right. and not, and not yeah. just to get some pussy. Yeah, we've done so many things and we have interviewed so many people so far, but. That's nothing compared to what is coming. We are going to get a new table, and we're going to get the, all the equipment ready. We're going to start a new dating segment with the table and with the equipment. We're going to make live streams. Those are going to be authentic. You can ask, you can ask us questions. We're going to be able to enter other people's live streams and, and join as guests on other and have great intellectual conversations with other people, and we'll keep you updated on that. And we'll be able to do so many things. We're going to get as many guests as we can. We're going to reach out. We're going to get some good intellectual, positive, life-changing conversations in the future for you guys. It's going to be awesome. You guys have no idea what's coming. We have good plans for the future. We're going to make it. We are seeking out to become the best podcast in New Jersey. We're going to make that happen. You know, it's all about the mindset of what do you really want and how bad do you really want it. Well, we want it bad. We're going to show you guys how bad we want it, but we're going to stay consistent. We're going to get some really good guests on for you guys and have awesome conversations. The great thing about podcasts is that we, not only do we get to explore like our our thoughts and you guys get to actually listen to our conversations and how we, what we think about life, just not only within our videos. Sometimes when we make long videos, like I'll put up some in the cards that you guys can watch. The thing is that those could have been podcast videos, right? And we could have gotten even longer on a lot of the topics and a lot of the discussion that we went through in those specific videos. There's a lot of different topics and stuff that we go through in these, uh, they're technically long form videos, right? But we can even make them longer with podcasts. And so if there is any type of topic or any type of thing that you want us to discuss, either if it's just Andrew and I just talking in a podcast together or with any specific guests that we might want to bring on. If you have any specific topics, you should put them in the comments below and let us know what you think and we'll take them into account wherever we feel like it works. Make sure you guys hit the like button on the video to help us give us some support and make sure you subscribe to the channel to get those numbers up. And you know, Mike is the main editor for this channel. He works really hard on editing the videos as well that we put out. So if you guys want to show support and help us out, the Cash App is in the link in the description. It goes towards the equipment and it helps us with all the time that we put into this channel and is greatly appreciated. So with that said, we're going to see you guys in the next video. Will you